Hey there, Ben here with another watch review. Uh, just been a little bit since I've had a chance to upload, so uh, I wanted to kind of go through this new Undone Sport Speedy. So let's get it off risk here real quick. Get a chance to take a look at this wonderful watch that I got for my anniversary for my wife. So one of the things that I really enjoy about Undone is the fact that you can customize this and do whatever you want to it. So, uh, for example, you'll see some touches on here that uh, are specific to me and uh, very grateful to my wife for getting this for our anniversary. So let's kind of go over just some specs about it and then I can point out some of the things that you can do to uh, customize it. So first of all, it is 41.8 millimeters wide. It is 13 and a half mils thick right here from front to back. I don't know lug to lug off the top of my head. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's somewhere in the vicinity of right around 47, 48. I didn't get that measurement, so sorry about that, but it's all good. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Uh, movement, Mecha Quartz, the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz Movement. Uh, I like it because uh, it does, you know, you can see that when you do depress the pusher for the uh, stopwatch, it's got that kind of nice movement to it. You'll notice that the the watch hand, excuse me, the seconds hand for the quartz, mecha quartz movement there on the chronograph, it's, uh, it's blue. I chose it on purpose, but you can see that it's got that nice smooth motion to it when you're using that part of it. Um, of course, you can do a stop and then a reset. It just snaps right back up there. Uh, this has been kept on a 60 minute um, timer right there. And then this dial over here, this sub dial is 24 hours. So it's nice. I don't need to, you know, have 24 hours or whatever it is worth of chronograph, but uh, having that 24 hour sub dial, I really like. And then down here at the bottom at six, you can see that we do have the, the date window that's been there. Tachymeter around the outside. I like that part of it too. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a big chronograph fan, but I do like uh, the way that this one looks. And that's why I asked for this one when, <laughs> when it's time for the anniversary. That's why I asked for this particular model. Uh, let's see what else. We got uh, stainless steel, 316L stainless steel uh, is going to be what the case is made out of. You can see it does have the uh, black, uh, I believe it's an IP coating that's on there. Um, I really enjoy that. Crystal, mineral hardened K1 mineral crystal. Uh, 30 meters of water resistance, which is just fine for what I need. And it's really lightweight. 46 grams, so not a whole lot that goes on to that. It does come on this strap, which is a Tropic leather strap. Super comfortable, I really like it. Been wearing it quite a bit, and there are different options that you can get it with. I chose to go ahead and get it on this Tropic strap. So you can do a lot with the customization, and I highly suggest you go to undone.com and take a look to see what they uh, have for options. You can get different uh, faces, you can get different tachymeters, like you can get this in stainless seal, or you can get it with different colors. Um, you can personalize it. You'll notice that right there, where normally you'd have the brand, it says July 2. Um, it's my anniversary, and so my wife uh, was kind enough to put that on there as a nice little gentle reminder that it's, you know, a second of July is her anniversary. Um, style of the watch, no surprise there. Uh, it's the Omega Speedmaster. The, the watch that went to the moon, and that's exactly why I wanted this particular version. Um, I'm a bit of a, a space junkie, and so knowing that this watch, as well as the, uh, oh, what was that other one? The Bulova Lunar Pilot, those are the two that went to the moon. This is the one that NASA officially uh, sanctioned. So uh, that's why I kind of with this one, I, I really do like the, the, the way it looks. It does have loom on all the hands as well as the indices. You can see it's kind of got the antique look right here. I like the way that looks. Um, it's it's nice. You can also choose the hands, uh, what you'd like to get them in the color. I got the second hand as a blue so that it's easier to, it's like a blued, it's not a blued blue hand, a uh, second hand, but uh, it is, uh, you know, somewhat, it, it's hidden. I don't like to see it just kind of standing out and being in the way. So that's why I got it in that dark shade of blue. So it's there if I want to, I can tilt it on an angle and I can see it when I want to, but it's not always gonna be there, it's in the front. So that's why I you know, chose that. I, I asked my wife some for some very specific uh, criteria for the watch and then she went ahead and ordered it for me. Cause you know, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. Um, <laughs> or do it the way you want to. And so, you know, you, you can choose the face, you can choose the hands, you can choose the second hand, you can choose uh, what the tachymeter looks like, or if you even want to do that, if you want to do a plain bezel, 
Uh, you can choose the band. Uh, another thing that I really enjoyed is she was able to go through and inscribe the back. And so that is another thing. You can also put a picture on the back if you'd rather do that and see the movement because there's um, kind of like a, a glass coating on the outside. So all of this for $289. I thought it was a good deal. I really liked it. Um, it was a great present for me. Um, even though I got to pick out everything about it, I still think this is a great watch. I'm extremely grateful to my wife for getting it and allowing me to do that. So, but if I ever had the chance to go through and purchase another undone watch, would I? Absolutely. Love these things. I think it's great. I love being able to customize a, a watch so it's set up the way that I want it, not necessarily the way somebody wants to do it in Switzerland or someone wants to do it in China, or someone wants to do it in the US. I like to be able to do my watch my way, which is what this watch turned out to be. So I hope you've enjoyed this real quick review of the Undone uh, Sport Speedy. Like I said, there are many of these that are out there. So if you want to take a look at them, there's lots of different versions that you can see. So feel free to jump on their website. I am not paid by them whatsoever. So this is not a paid endorsement. It's just me saying how much I like it. That's about it. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.